everybody, welcome back to Recordology. This is gonna be fun. So today we are gonna be taking a look at the Crosley Parker stereo system. This is a CD radio and I think Bluetooth as well. We look at retro and you know, vintage vinyl and tape players and even radios so much. We don't focus a lot on equipment that's designed to be modern and this one is. Anyway, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. This looks really cool. It's very modern looking, but it kind of looks like mid-century modern, which is really, really cool. I think that's a very cool design aesthetic. It kind of reminds me of the CD player of theirs we reviewed a couple of years ago. And uh, that's a that was a fantastic unit. So I'm hoping it's sort of based on the same technology. This one has external speakers though. It looks just really fantastic. I can't wait to give it a listen and a look-see. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you the package to begin with. Great photography. Everything is retail packaged with Crosley. That way it can sort of sell itself on the store shelf. All right, let's go ahead without further ado and dig into it. I'm going to cut into the top of the box. And while I am doing that, how you guys been doing? What have you been up to lately? I've been having a fun time reading the comments lately. I always get a kick out of following along with your adventures, things you're looking for, things that you found, discovered, fixed, or whatever, sold. I think that's always interesting. It's an ongoing thing, and I, if you're anything like me, you you know you get interested in something, and that interest leads to something else, and then you know pretty soon you're discovering new music, new technology, and obviously that is so much fun. Okay, so interesting. We've got a knob kind of protruding from the top foam here, thick layer of foam protecting all of the good stuff inside. You can see the speakers are there, the unit itself some accessories down there. So let me go ahead and get it out of the box and we'll take a closer look. I've been holding on to this for a few weeks now, I'm looking for the right time to share it with you. And uh, this is really cool, I love this. A new stereo system, I can't wait to check out how it works. Obviously give it a listen, see what it sounds like. But without further ado, let's go ahead and snap our fingers and take off the uh, shrink wrap. Easy as that. I wish, it, I wish it really was that quick and easy in real life, but yeah, it's, it's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. Let's start with the speakers, actually. Okay. So let's see. We've got a speaker grill here that is fabric. You can kind of see where the actual driver is. And then we've got this metallic-looking emblem there. There's probably a film, a protective film on there. Uh, the wood is obviously going to be like an MDF or board material with a veneer. This is a smooth veneer, but it looks nice. Love the design cues. You know, it's so funny. In the 80s, everything that our family owned was brown. We had brown carpet, brown electronics, brown couches, brown, brown, brown. We had wood paneled walls in certain rooms. It was just like brown was the color. And then, you know, it, once that design aesthetic became uncool, it's like everybody tried as hard as they could to get away from brown. And now here we are back. What's old is new again, right? <laughs> so... There is, I say it's modern, but there is, these are just rubber stickers. Uh, I say it's modern, but it really is a, uh, a vintage design cue to go along with that. All right, now, are these one-way speakers? They don't even, yeah, there's no tweeter. This is just gonna be a single driver, which I actually prefer that than, you know, having fake tweeters, something like that. So I think this speaker, these are both passive speakers, so there's not gonna be any controls or anything. They're just, you know, ported speakers and cabinets and then if we look at the the main unit itself obviously the same design cues we've got this nice metallic and that is a real metal face plate with these uh buttons here that's a switch these are micro switches down here and that's a metal knob nice yeah i like that metal knob it's a digital one it's stepped you can tell that there's steps in there micro switches and there's the drawer for the cd Looking at the bottom side, this is interesting. It's got like this plastic inset piece with a ventilation. Some screws, I guess, if you wanted to get in there and work on it. The feet, sort of a rubberized plastic. And then on the back, interesting, 12 volt power supply, a line-in capability, FM antenna. This is FM radio only, and I know, I know, I know. It should have AM tube. All right, let's go ahead and connect it and do a function test and give it a sound test. 
Uh, there is also the power supply, DC power supply. It has the remote control with a button cell battery, little blister buttons on the top there, and then the user manual uh, right here. So this is the CR3503A Parker. Really cool. Yeah, so, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and we'll give it a test. Okay, so I got it all set up. It looks good. My only gripe so far is sort of this loose fabric in front of the actual driver. It just looks like it's, you know, loose, worn out fabric. The one on the right doesn't seem to be doing that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and power this device up here on the wide shot using this mic. And then I'm gonna turn on my front facing stereo mic so we can hear the speakers directly. This will be an ambient sound test. There's no headphone jack. <laughs> There's no headphone connectivity that I can tell. So let's go ahead and power it on and see what that display looks like. Okay, we've got an orange, um, I don't know if that's vacuum fluorescent or if that's an LED, probably an LCD display actually. So I'm gonna zoom in to a closer shot where we can see the controls and then you'll just know that you'll be hearing ambiently on those speakers. I had to double check to make sure this thing did Bluetooth, but it does indeed do Bluetooth. So if I run through the different modes here, you can see tuner, line input, Bluetooth, and then disc. So let's go ahead and start with the CD. I'm gonna go and open the drawers, Snappy. It's one of those slimline CD drawers that are very, very common these days. And it'll be very random on the music. I've got a Best of Broadway we're gonna start with here. It should be pretty simple. I mean, this is this would be great for seniors too, wouldn't it? Because they can just, you know, very basic controls. I mean, it's not overly complicated. Let's give this a test. This will be copyrighted music, so I'll have to skip through it. It's very voluminous and bassy. Nice, it sounds good. Okay, so initial thoughts on the sound quality. It definitely, you can tell it's a single driver. It doesn't sound like a two-way speaker. That being said, it is a good full range speaker and the volume is punchy. I know it's a bit echoing here. I apologize about that, it always is. Um, but at the same time, I'm very impressed. I think that this sounds phenomenal so far, so good. I don't hear any like hiss. Yeah, it's a nice clean amplifier. There's no hiss when you turn the volume up on a pause. Very minimal. There's a tiny bit, but it's minimal. I like it. Very listenable. Okay, no, I'm impressed. That actually, you know, it shouldn't surprise me because the other Crosley CD player, like the dedicated CD player review, sounded really good. So, um, yeah, let me grab another CD. Let's try another type of music. All right, let's listen to some Slavonic dances. And this should be copyright friendly, I hope, anyway. It loads pretty quick, too, which is nice. You can hear it spinning up in there. I also hear my furnace, sorry about that. Excellent. Pegging it at 20 to get this kind of loud. It is quiet classical music though. All right, let's go ahead and listen to the radio. Okay, I'm gonna 
turn the volume down, switch modes to tuner. And I assume it's a scanner radio, let's see. Can make a big difference. I wake up at a little before you. Twenty-eight. Skull buff. Not the great. Wouldn't it? I visited Thailand recently in Southeast Asia, with many of its Buddhist temples and followers. You know, here the worship. And by the Global Engagement Distinguished Lecture Series. So the sound quality is very boomy and rich due to the FM compression, which is a good sound. I like compressed FM sound. And that's a good, good thing. It sounds fantastic on these speakers. Literally, FM compression is designed to make more entry-level speakers sound better by cramming those frequencies into a now narrower bandwidth. Janine Herbst with these headlines. The head of... Okay, so you can program in channels. Okay, cool, excellent. I'm not gonna spend too much time on FM. It looks like you would need to kind of you program in your stations and then you could easily access them. I was just manually going through the dial. So next up, it's Bluetooth time. Okay, let's go ahead and switch modes to Bluetooth. And I'm gonna connect to it as soon as it comes up on my device here. Okay, not too bad, took about 30 seconds. And without further ado, let's go ahead and play some music. Again, this will be ambiently with my stereo mics. And my apologies, my furnace was kicking in. We've had snow, it's so cold, it's so cold here lately. Um, okay, here we go, without further ado, some Bluetooth. Okay, so this sells for, let's see, $139 on Amazon. I think this is brand new. I'm not 100% sure, but 100, let's see, I want to make sure I'm right about that. Yeah, $139.95 on Amazon. And I think that if you want a modern stereo system with Bluetooth, with CD, with FM radio, and you don't need a record player, you don't need a tape player, or maybe you do and you just use the line input. I mean, you could even connect that. Anyway, this is a good all-in-one unit for like an apartment, for a teenager, for an office. You know, this is a good sort of augment your other sound system kind of stereo. They do have two higher end units in the line. The Parker is, is sort of the entry level unit when it comes to CD players, which is interesting because it's the only one with the external speakers. The next level up is the Metro with built-in speakers and above that is the Fleetwood also with built-in speakers. And I think the Fleetwood is what we looked at a couple of years ago. Those have the added functionality of the EQ. So uh, something to take note of. But overall, I think this is a good value. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. All right, my friends. And that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And just thank you so much for being there, guys. Again, huge surprises to share with you very, very soon. But for now, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.